So I think one of my favorite things about Cyberpunk 2077 has actually just been exploring the world and finding all the secrets and weird things the world has to offer. And today, we're gonna actually find a secret motorcycle that you can get. I was a little disappointed with the variety of motorcycles in the game. There's only a few that I would actually recommend using. Uh, but this is actually a really great motorcycle with a quest line attached to it, and you can get it completely for free. Now, there are quite a few other free vehicles that you can get in the game, and I've got a few other videos already ready for some other free cars that you can get as well. Now, the location we need to go to is kind of close to the Badlands, and if we go all the way south here to Santo Domingo, and right at the edge of this, in between the gun shop, well, just behind the gun shop, really, is a, a little bit of a secret here. Now, this is going to unlock a quest line for us to be able to get a free motorcycle. Now, when we approach this garage door here, also, I highly recommend uh, garage doors in the world. Most of them can't be opened, but a sign for one that can be open and often have secrets behind them is they'll have this light behind it. Sometimes it'll be red, sometimes it'll be green or yellow, uh, but if they have a light on them, typically they can be opened. Now, once we open this bad boy, you're gonna see um, a motorcycle here. Oh, well, well. Nice. I had something similar, but none of that nomad shit. Mm-hmm. Let me guess, big busty blonde on the side? First, beg your pardon, and second, Brunette. <laughs> Shit. I stand corrected. No fixing this. What's wrecked is wrecked. It doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look that bad at all. Oh, there's got to be a way to fix it. Do we got anything in here? Uh, we got a cowboy hat with... Oh, hell yeah. I've been looking for a cowboy hat for reasons. So let's see if there's anything maybe on here. No, nope, we got no messages. We've got... Oh, we do have a message. Everything okay? Uh, heard these guys trashed your bike. Oh, sorry, I don't know what got into them. I'm just happy you're okay. And listen, I know your rules meant a lot to you, but you have to let this go. I'm serious. The tigers don't joke around. Oh, look. When we come out of that, there's actually a photo there. New job, the highwayman. Interesting. Oh, we need to actually track that job. So it seems something horrible has happened to Josie. And if we track this job, we're going to go find James. And it's going to initiate more of the quest line to be able to get this secret bike. Now what's really interesting... Now when we go into the quest the highwayman, we need to find James to see what happened to Josie. And knowing this game, something horrible probably happened to Josie. What's even in more interesting is when you go to track this... There's actually no location given to you, which means we need to actually go explore the world to be able to find James. Now, we know that things happen with the Tiger Claws, so there's only one real area that we can actually explore to be able to probably find this NPC, and that means we need to head to Westbrook. Now, thankfully, the photo that we saw gave enough clues to kind of get a general idea of where this was. And I actually really enjoy this quest line because it's kind of like it, I, I like quests that don't just point you exactly where you need to go. And you have to do a little bit of exploring for it. Now, the location we need to head to to find this person is uh, actually just at the very edge of Westbrook here. And just before you get to this bridge, you're going to find like a little food court area right here. And this is where we need to go to. Now, if we follow these around, he's not actually going to be sitting on one of these. I think it's over here. Yeah, there we go. So we can see the heart right here. So 021477. There we go. So show this photo. Uh, you the guy in this picture, home dog? Guy in the picture. That you? How the hell did you get that? I broke it. Found it. Alongside Josie's banged up bike. Trying to figure out what happened to her. Oh, so you a cop? Cut the bullshit. Show me a badge. No, I'm just somebody that's nope. gonna do some murdering for you, man. 100% Civ here. Just trying to put some facts together. Something happened to her. Something bad, right? Shit, she... The Tigers didn't like her, okay? Told her to skip town. But Josie... Fuck! Josie didn't listen. 
When they smashed her ride, said she'd pay them back. I begged her not to, but she clapped the bike off some boss. They chased her, there was a firefight. After that, no idea. Poor Josie. So yeah, I'd say something bad happened. Listen, you figure anything out, anything. Let me know, okay? I got you, buddy. And hopefully he knows where to look. Even start. No. All I heard was when it got rough, she ran to the metro. Must have gone south, red line from Japantown. But no idea where she would have got off. Okay. Not much, but still something. So I know where that is. Be in touch. Do you have any new intel? intel on Josie? Nothing. Let me guess. You neither. See, I like this. You actually have to know the area a little bit to know where this is. Thankfully, I've done enough exploring to know where that metro station actually is. So where we need to actually go to is down in Haywood. Now, if you fast travel to the Metro Glen North fast travel point, that'll get you pretty much right where we need to go. And then from here, if you're looking at the Metro, you're going to see this arrow that points left. This is where you're going to follow and you're going to head straight down this way. Just the little ways. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. This is why I just get double jump so I can double jump over all the stupid cars. Um, we should be getting close. There we are. So just over here is going to be a vending machine in an alleyway. Now, if you activate your sensor here, you're going to notice there's something on the ground. So we've got human blood, several weeks old, severe injury. Now, if we continue to use our sensors, we're going to find some more blood, human blood. And then just around the corner, this poor Josie. Deceased for several weeks, nomad from Aldecaldo clan. Blunt force trauma and blood loss. And then we've got bad news. Bled out. Took a while, though. Maybe. Tore those fingernails right yeah. off on the pavement. Are you threatening Fuck. me? For Jeez. Real? No way to go. We'll, we'll no way is a good way, V. I'd know. All right, now, so from here, we just need to head back to um, the location we were just at and go talk to that guy again. Sadly, we're going to have to give him the bad news. Found Josie. Dead. And you did it. The fuck are you talking about? You know what? You lured her into a trap. Knew your chooms were going to zero her. Didn't have a choice, all right? She crossed a guy at the top. I had to, understand? They would have zeroed me. So you let them kill her instead. Know what? If you'd hazed her... Just pretended to be in love so you could use her. You'd just be another asswipe in a town full of them. But no, you really did love her. And you still helped him get her. You're a real shitbag, Jamie. Even for Night City. Shut up. Shut up! I'll fucking Whoa. you! Sure. Just you try. Excuse me, sir. Oh, we got a nice epic ah, katana ah, from me, this. Please. What else does he have here? We got some vodka here. So now we need to find the stolen Tiger Claw bike. There we go. So let's see here. If we open up our menu here and go to our journal. Uh, so don't have to be a genius. So Josie hid the Tiger Boss's bike somewhere in Night City near the All Foods Factory and Maelstrom Turf. Said to look for a ghost horse. Interesting. Now you will need to keep note of this actual number here on the heart. Because this is going to be a code that we need for the next part. Now, the location we need to go to is in Watson. That's where the Maelstroms are. And if you zoom in, there's actually a fast travel point for the All Foods plant. Now, right when you arrive at this fast travel point, it's right here. If you look right across the way, there's a horse here. And as I mentioned earlier, whenever you find these garage doors with lights on them... Hey, look, there's another horse right there. It often means that you can enter these. Now, what we need to do is actually type in the code that was on that chair to get in. These touchpads can be a bit of a pain, but the code is 0, 2, 1, 4. Boom, baby. Now we've got access to the secret bike that was stolen from the Tiger Clans. You can actually find these out in the world and ride them on your own, but now you can actually own it, which is great. And um, what's great is these bikes are actually really, really good. 
They've got a probably one of the best turreting radiuses, I think. I'd have to test it with some of the other ones, but I've always really liked these. When I first started playing, I was out stealing them all the time because they're actually really nice bikes. But look at this thing. We've got a skull on the front with eyes for the lights. It's actually really nice. I could do without this little back part, but otherwise, I really, really like the look of it. I wish we could customize our own motorcycles and cars as well. Maybe it's something they'll add in the future after they fix all the bugs and whatnot, but uh, it's definitely worth getting. And the quest line itself is really interesting. Now, the bike is really fast. It's not the fastest vehicle in the game by any means, but the, the bonus part of this is it has a really nice turning radius. Uh, it handles really, really well. And it might be, it's definitely in the top two bikes to get in the game. And the best part is it's completely free. Now, I do hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to slap that like button like it owes you money. And I'll see you all in the next one.